Sergeant John Creasel began this December 2nd like he has a dozen times before by sharing the events that happened in Iraq on December 2nd, 2006. The worst day of my life, but um, a day that has shaped the rest of my life in, in a positive way, I would say. We were on a foot patrol in the morning to check out uh, an intersection. Sergeant Creasel volunteered that day with four others to look for bombs being planted in the Fallujah roadways. I remember calling in checkpoint 3-1, Checkpoint 3-2, and as I called in checkpoint 3-3 three, three on the radio, we had a round a 90 degree turn to the south. Mm -hmm. And as we turned the corner, our left front tire hit a pressure plate that set off 200 pounds of homemade explosives directly underneath our vehicle. I remember this, this metallic clank that went off. I remember waking up on the ground, but I hadn't yet opened my eyes, so I heard rocks falling. It sounded like a hailstorm. And I looked down and saw, saw my bones sticking out of my left leg my right leg, I could hear the blood hitting the sand. So I was I was convinced that I was going to die that day. It would be close. Sergeant Creasel lost both of his legs, two of the men he set out with. Corey Ristead from Red Lake Falls, Minnesota, Brian McDonough from Maywood, Minnesota, both died in the blast. Creasel survived. That's how it became a live day? That's how it became a live day. It is a day of extremes. Life and loss of life come at him hard and fast on this one day. Celebration is probably not the right word to use, but it's more of a, an observation of the day that I wasn't supposed to survive. Obviously a lot of guilt, because I'll never know why I survived and why Tim survived and why Bruce did and, and why Corey and Brian didn't. I mean, it, it's, it becomes a roll of the dice, but I've just made sure to, to not waste it. Waste it he didn't. He works tirelessly to this day for veterans. He has served in our state legislature. He shares this story tonight here online, on the stage as a motivational speaker and on the page as the author of his memoir, Still Standing, to draw a line in the sands of that day, showing how close the difference between life and death can be. I get to live a great life, raise a, a baby girl. It's the life I never could have dreamed of having and I get to live it. But then on the flip side of it, two of my best friends, two families that I'm close with, mm -hmm. this day is totally different for them. They're, they're mourning the loss of two wonderful human beings that, that gave their lives for us that day. Sense can't always get made, but honoring his friends can, which is why every December 2nd, Sergeant John Creasel will tell the story of a live day. I'll never forget laying there and thinking, this is it, I'm going to die. And I never want to forget that because it keeps me grounded in it and it really forces me to appreciate every day on this planet. It's that appreciation piece. That's part of the reason Sergeant Creasel still tells the story to this day. You might have saw it on his Twitter page or heard it on KFAN. He's on the Power Trip show. You might have read about it and still standing, but it bears repeating to remind us that this life is precious and that there are those who are no longer with us who made the ultimate sacrifice. I thank you, Sergeant Creasel.